This is the DeWalt Multifunction Tool DCS-356B. It's a great tool, but there is an even better upgrade. And what I'm about to show you works also for all the other DeWalt Multifunction Tools, DCS-353, 4, 5, and the quoted WE-315 tool. So where this tool falls short is it doesn't have a depth gauge. So what I do is a lot of times I just use a magic marker. I put a little mark on the blade so that I don't overcut, I don't go too deep. But I wish this tool would have a depth gauge built in, which it actually has a way to do that. And you see these two holes there. One is threaded, the one on the right, and the other one is just a, a you know peg hole. And the wall makes this little assembly block that allows you to attach a depth gauge to this tool and all the others. Unfortunately, the wall sells these parts separately. So there is the assembly block, and then there's the depth guide, which you see here has a little roller on the front. And then there's the knob, the setting screw here with the knob. And all three parts go together, but they don't sell them as a set, which is kind of weird. But hey, still, for you know about fifteen to twenty dollars, you can upgrade your multifunction tool by installing this assembly block here. It has a hex screw built in. You just tighten that up, make sure it's really tight. And then you can put the depth gauge into this assembly block. And there's multiple orientations that you can do that with. And then you adjust the depth and you see that the depth gauge is kind of flattened out there. And then once you have the right depth, you just pull the set screw and it stays really well put. So this is a very solidly engineered, it's all metal and it has a very wide range of depth that you can set. So you see this is quite long. So let's use a longer blade and I'll show you another cool feature. You see that this depth gauge has a roller in the front. And what's nice about this is that when you cut along a piece of wood or a piece of drywall, it allows you to just kind of roll along that piece of wood. So let me just uh, show that here, right? So let's say you're cutting with a round blade, yeah, this is the wrong blade, but you know, if you have a kind of a round blade, one of those half moon blades, then you can just roll on that roller and, um, you know, use that as a, as a depth gauge. So here, let me show that again with this half moon blade here and this, you know, just adjust it here and there you see, right? So if this, imagine this is a piece of drywall or a piece of wood that you want to cut and that works really, really well with the roller. So overall, it's a great addition to the tool. Uh, I really like it. Also, the nice thing is if you don't need the depth gauge, it doesn't really get in the way. And worst case, you can always take it off, right? I do, however, recommend that you use thread locker when you first mount this assembly block with that hex screw onto the tool. Because this is a vibrating or an oscillating tool, if you don't use thread locker, this will come loose pretty quickly. When I first mounted it, within you know a few hours, it started to come loose, even though I had tightened it really well. So use the thread locker, and uh, you know be generous with it. And this is the blue thread locker, so you can always remove it. It doesn't glue it down permanently. And um, you know, I think that's a great way to prevent this from coming loose. If you do want to take it off, you see this little assembly there. It has a retaining clip. So there's no danger of losing that set screw, which is great. And um, yeah, this is um, something that you definitely want to use thread locker on so it doesn't shake itself loose. Now, another cool feature of this assembly block is that there are different channels for the depth guide. So you see, this is the one that we had earlier, right, for straight use. But you see there's another channel if you want to use that tool at an angle. And a lot of times when there isn't a lot of space or, you know, when things are really tight in corners, you want to set your blade at an angle. And with the depth gauge, you can also set that at an angle, which is great. Because then you have the blade aligned with the depth gauge and it allows you to get into the corners. So this is how that looks. And again, with that roller, that's really kind of cool. So this is super useful. And there's even a vertical hole there, right there, so that you can put the depth gauge that way in case you have some specialty blades. I don't use it all the time, but when I do need a depth gauge, this thing is really, really helpful. Overall, solidly engineered, 
100% metal, right? This isn't going anywhere. So go and check out your DeWalt multifunction tool. And uh, as long as it has these two peg holes, right? The one on the left is just a peg hole. The one on the right is threaded. As long as it has these two holes here, this assembly block will fit on there. And then you also need to buy the depth gauge and the knob. Unfortunately, it's all separate. And then you can install a depth gauge on your DeWalt multifunction tool. Just don't forget to use the thread locker for it. Thank you for watching. And if you thought this was useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.